Alicia Keys, welcome to the Daily Social Distancing Show. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. How's it been for you? Have you have you been feeling with all of this conversation, communication so far away? I feel I feel more connected and disconnected than ever before. I don't know if you're feeling the same thing, you know, because everything we do is like this now. But then, like, you know, you're talking to someone, but they're not there. And then I'm trying to see your face, but then I see my face in the corner because there's another picture and then the camera's in another... It's like, how, how are you dealing with it? Are you, are you coping? Yeah, I mean, you know, first of all, the, the family is healthy, the family is good. So that's, that's step one. I think I definitely have gotten more used to communicating in this more digital space where, I, you know... At first, I was completely weirded out by it, but now I'm, I'm embracing it and I feel, you know, I feel like I get it. So, working out. You, you've written a new song. And again, you know, Alicia Keys writes songs about love. Alicia Keys writes songs about, like, the journey of falling in love, you know, heartbreak, etc. But this is a different type of heartbreak. You know, you've written a, a song, and, and the title of the song is Perfect Way to Die. Tell me, tell me a little bit about the why of the song. Why did you write the song and, and, and what does it signify to you? Wait till you hear it. I mean, oh my gosh. It, it really started, the, 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 the catalyst for the song was uh, Mike Brown and Sandra Bland. And, and so you, you hear these stories and you hear their stories in these lyrics. And, and the devastating thing is that it's never not going to be relevant. And where we are right now in the world and in this country, in America particularly, we are in a real, a real place that we can all see that there is a major, this is the most major pandemic of all. You know, this deeply rooted racism, this police brutality, this treatment of black people, that is just completely unacceptable to the point where daily we're seeing, you know, lives lost, people murdered for nothing, nothing for being black, you know? And, and so this song really does encapsulate that. And also the fire of the cities that we're all in, the fire of energy of the of the rallies and the protesting and and the and the and the and the outrage and the place where we've all reached where we will not be silent anymore, um, and and it says, I guess you picked the perfect way to die. Is there a perfect way to die? It's so powerful, um, and I'm just honored that this song can be alive in this time when you know we really are on the precipice of great change. That's really amazing. Um, I, I would argue, you know, you're one of the people who I've seen really mobilizing every resource that you have to make change happen. Your music, your networks, you know, the, 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 the spaces that you inhabit. Because for some, the music would be enough. But you're part of an initiative that's really beautiful where you, you, you've put together this group of women, sisters in the industry, who all have a voice, you know, everyone from, from yourself to Cardi B and, and Tracy Ellis Ross and, and just amazing women in this space who, who, who you've brought together and have worked with to, to come together and say, hey, let's speak out specifically, not just about the issue, but specifically about what happened to Breonna Taylor. You know, a woman who was killed in her bed because police knocked on the wrong door, broke down the wrong door rather, and, and killed her as she slept. And... And, 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 and I mean, as we're speaking now, there still have been no arrests. The only person who was arrested was her boyfriend who was protecting yeah, his life because people just came in with guns. And you've been, you've been working on this, I believe, with uh, Breonna Taylor's mother as well. Tell, tell me about the initiative and tell me what you're trying to achieve. Yeah, we spoke to her family, her mother, her sister, who actually had a bedroom right next to Breonna. Um, and for whatever reason, thank God that night she wasn't there. But could you imagine this mom would have buried two daughters, two. And it's terrible that she had to bury one. And that's, this has been months that this has been going on. And to your point, no charges, no arrests, no firings. And it's, it's, it's outrageous. So we got together, we, we did a simple thing saying, do you know Breonna Taylor's story? And so we also knew that, the, that, that the, the, her city, Louisville, was, was voting on uh, banning this no-knock warrant, which is the reason why all of this happened. And so we had to be very timely 
because the vote was happening on Thursday, and I believe our collective kind of voice voices and our posts came out on Tuesday. And so on Thursday, sure enough, along with everybody else who's been doing so much work around this, um, sure enough, it was a unanimous vote that they banned wow. the knock warrant. So um, I think that's one step. Obviously, those officers need to be charged, need to be arrested, need to be convicted. Um, and so actually on the Until Freedom website, there's a very clear outline of who you can call the mayor, the, the attorney general. There's a, there's a the general attorney. There's a, a nice list of people that you can call. So no matter where you live, where you're from, um, you know, just continuing to be relentless, I think, is a part of all of the justices that we want to see. Before I let you go, you know, part of the journey of, of being a black person is living between two states of um, pain and joy. And for this Juneteenth, you you are going to be, is it piano battling against John Legend? Is Do I do I understand this? Because they said there's going to be a battle. And I was like, between John Legend? And they're like, yeah, it's a piano battle. And I was like, I've never heard of this. This is like the most highbrow, like hood thing that I've ever heard of. Because I love battles. And then I was like, but it's going to be pianos. I was like, what? Tell, tell me a little bit about the Juneteenth John Legend Alicia Keys piano battle. Well, you know, Versus, uh, my husband, Swiss Beats, uh, created and Timbaland created this forum, which is really right. they, a celebration of greatness, you know, where two really awesome artists will come together and battle, have a Versus opportunity to share their music, to share their, their moments. And it's been incredible. And especially during this time of COVID and us being, you know, so kind of, you know, confined to our spaces. I think it's it's really been something that so many people look forward to. So um, Juneteenth is is happening on June 19th, and it really commemorates, and it's a celebration to commemorate the um, liberation of the last enslaved people in America. And to me, you know, it's 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 far more accurate of a time to celebrate than a July 4th, which still had many people who um, were not free and were not were not liberated. And so I think this is what we're celebrating. So me and John, we do come together for verses. Um, and we are going to have a beautiful battling celebration um, of music, piano, songs. I'm excited. I mean, <laughs> think, I don't even think you know what's going to happen. I myself don't even know what's going to happen. I think nobody knows what those versus battles, which is exciting. That's what I'm saying. So I'm just excited to, you know, have this moment. I think it does, you know, it helps so much with, with all that we have coming forward. Alicia Keys, thank you so much for your time today. We'll tune in to the Juneteenth battle. And yeah. uh, congratulations on all the work that you're doing. We'll make sure we direct everybody to try and help in. Thank you. I'm so, and you too. Such, so much love. Thank you for all that you're doing. Thank you to everybody who's watching for just being awake, aware, and open to, you know, the great change that we all want to see. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. And you too.